Hey, so I just had this brainwave and I wanted to share it with you. Um, so I've got a Blackmagic Cinema camera. Um, and so if you have a Blackmagic Cinema camera, that's probably why you're watching. Uh, I had a shoot just this past Saturday. And what I normally do is I do all my editing with the in-camera audio, then grade it, then export it from Resolve, and then do Pluralize because then the workflow is a lot easier than what you get out of Pluralize if you want to try and edit. Um, but on Saturday, our in-camera audio is so inconceivably bad that Pluralize wouldn't work no matter what I did. So I had to go through everything, do it all manually. So I realized I had to up the in-camera audio. And so we, I bought like a $30 shotgun mic that runs off a little um, a AA battery. You can get one of those and then I made a cable for it which got me balanced audio which is the big thing that's really hard to get with these things because you can get the XLR to the jack plug but you don't get balanced audio then and so I want a balanced audio so this is a little tutorial on how to make a XLR to dual jack plug so you get balanced audio into your um, black magic so what you'll need is a soldering iron, some solder, pliers, wire strippers, clippers, XLR jack, some quarter inch jacks, mic cable, shrink wrap. So first thing you're going to need to do is strip the end of your mic cable, the outside layer. Then you're going to want to clip away the little bit of white filly stuff they give you. And then what you'll need to do is strip and twist the white and blue wire on the inside then you're going to want to pull apart your XLR socket solder your white wire to the connector 1 and your blue wire to connector 2 then put your XLR socket back together strip two other shorter cables for your jack sockets cut your white wire slightly shorter than the blue one and then strip and twist your wires then when you put it together the white wire will sit on the sleeve furthest from the jack end and then your blue wire will sit on the sleeve closest to the jack end and then you solder those together once you've done that you also do a second one then once that's done you wire the both the jack blue wires together and then slip over a little bit of shrink wrap then you wire in your blue wire for your XLR socket and then you pull the shrink wrap over until the white exposed wire is covered and then you shrink the shrink wrap with a soldering iron then you repeat this step for the white wires I forgot to and you don't want to forget to put the larger piece of shrink wrap over the outside of the XLR wire before you connect the jacks and the XLR wire together otherwise you'll have to do what I did and rip the XLR socket off you don't want to do that and then this is what you should be finished with put together a couple of samples for um, audio the camera audio is favored here because it's in a room there's no wind there's no background noise in the real world, this shotgun mic, even though it's cheap and nasty, is a much better option. So I hope you that helps. Uh, you can make it whatever length you want, depending on how you mount it. I've got one that's a little bit longer. Which is the one I made originally and I've got that one that I just made then which is a little bit shoddy but this is the audio from it it's not a maze balls but for a total price of about $45 it's not a bad little uh, backup plan you know in camera audio secondary thing uh, so yeah hope this helps uh, go shoot something <laughs>